sister, that I'm writing an album called The Middle Passage. They've shown us every plantation with cotton on it. You know what plantation they've never shown us, Abby? The most prominent ones, the ones that were most profitable, the breeding plantations. Why don't you want to show us those? You know why? Because after the research that I did for this album, you realize that the moment that a, a girl menstruated, she was put in a stable where a horse would be and forcibly mated, forcibly raped by a male of the slave master's choice. And when she had children, they weren't called children, they were called a litter of pups. The punishment for raping or killing a person in medieval Spain is gelding. Gelding is when you take hot pincers and you take a man's balls and dick off root and stem. Killing a person, law of the Bible, right? Medieval Spain, super religious. You kill the man, he should be killed. Why were indigenous and black people categorized as subhuman? So under the law, you would not be punished for the things that you did to us. That's why you used to be proud Right? Used to be proud, white America, of rape and murder. Used to be proud of colonization. Used to, wow, that made us tough. And then you got ashamed of it. And that's what you're dealing with. That's what America's dealing with, a schizophrenic crisis. There's a British manual, right, that was taken out of the British Museum because within the manual, it talked about how rape was a weapon of war that should be used against the indigenous population. You're ashamed of that now. You're ashamed, right? Who was Christopher Columbus? His image has been so whitewashed, but he was trafficking little girls on an island. Who does that sound like, huh? All you <laughs> right-wing defenders of Christopher Columbus and his legacy, he was trafficking nine-year-old indigenous girls on an island. Who does that remind you of, you intellectual coward? Just because liberals are dog shit doesn't mean that you shake hands with the devil.